Welcome AFL football fans and all my gamers out there. Are you thinking about buying the highly anticipated AFL 23 game? So thanks to Big Ant Studio, I was given access to the game tonight, which drops tomorrow officially for everybody on Thursday. I'm going to be showing you absolutely everything, giving the rundown and giving my honest opinion on what this game entails. I'll show you all the latest stadiums, the new management career, the current player rankings with over 1,200 AFL and AFLW players, plenty of their goal celebrations which I had a little bit of help in creating. We've all seen this one, the Charlie Cameron. We've all seen the Dersma, but it's going to be on this game. I'm going to try and go through all the key features and much, much more. Now, the only thing that I can't show is the pro team. I know it's depressing, but it's because the Xbox game hasn't been released yet and we're going to have to wait till a further date till that is in the game. But I can tell you right now, it is the best thing ever in any AFL game going around. Also, woo, I'm giving away two two PS5 codes in this video. All you gotta do is make sure you subscribe and you can watch it till the end to find out how you can win it. God, I love Big Ant. So without further ado, you don't wanna hear me keep talking crap. Let's get stuck into the game. AFL 2023, let's go! It is currently 1.48 in the morning. Little intro here. One, two, three, four, five of these guys. We got the Bont. He's looking good. Lockie Neal. Mmm, look at those calves, Lockie. Damn. Chef Track. Christian Petrarca. Paddy Cripps. He's got his shoulders strapped. He's obviously been carrying that team for a long, long time. Clayton Oliver with the samurai haircut. Doesn't even look red in this. Oh, as you see here, it shows that the last name, first name, date of birth, the age, number, the role, midfielder, preferred foot right, and his type of player is an accumulator. He racks the nurry. That's what he does for a living. Skills and proficiencies shows a physical offense, kick, hand, and defense. That is sweet. So you know what kind of player you're getting. And then the stats will show up for the year, I guess. That's where you, when you start playing the career, all the management side of things, you get to see what their stats are. So we've got Tommy Stewart. God! Have a look at this guy. That is detailed as I've ever seen it. He's got all these tattoos and stuff there. That's pretty good. I'm very, very impressed with that. I'm not going to lie. Jeremy Cameron, 93. He should be probably the highest ranking player at the moment. He's killing it. Big Gorney. My mate Tommy Lynch. Look at that flow on the guy. <laughs> that is so accurate, it's crazy. Key defender right, backline general his type is. Yeah, like this this is nuts. Fresh haircut for the boys. Alright, we got the shy Boltan. Does he have the blonde? Yeah, he's got the blonde in his hair. He's a live wire. McRae, Miller, Mills, Chucky Cameron. He's got the moustache. Toby Green, Doherty, Papley, Lloyd, McCluggage. Oh! There you go, Shuey. Look at this guy. Hey, let's go. Let's try and get that mullet swinging. Nice, Jackie boy. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy, Zach Bailey, and we're here with another Rob Vlogs edition of AFL 23. Let's go. Caleb <laughs> Daniel. What's this thing say? Rebounding. He's got his helmet on too. Look how bloody realistic that is. That's insane. Can I take his helmet off? That's obviously the guy that everyone's going to be playing. He's got the fresh do. He's got the mohawk that his brother Josh does at his house. Let's have a look at Big Budwa. Oh, Paddy D. 86 overall. That's I don't know about that. He's meant to be one of the champions of the game. His rating's 86. That actually, that actually looks like him too. If that's not Lord Farquhar, I don't know what the hell is going on. That is him. All right, so you can create your own player. So you go through your body type, obviously. Um, I'm gonna go this guy. Identity, you get to choose what you want. So you can do all your name and everything. Big body. You can do the whole face, skin color. You can do different haircuts. You can add beards. Hold on! You can create your own stadium? You can put it in the city that you want as well. Sydney, Perth, Adelaide, Brizzy, Gold Coast, Darwin, Hobart. And then you can play it. You can change the stands and put the scoreboards there. What? I don't know if that's in AFL either, but that is mad. You can chuck roofs on it, change the heights. Look at that! Oh man, it's so sick. You select certain amounts, select it all at once, and you can just change the tiers. That is so cool. 
All right, management career. Let's suss this out. It's something I'm looking forward to because obviously I want to be a player manager. So you can choose from AFL, AFL, W. Let's go AFL. Let's obviously choose the Brisbane Lions. But it's pretty cool here that they got all the ratings and stuff going on. All right, let's see what we do this. So team management. You can go to your roster. Shows all the players' ratings from, from number order one to whatever the last number would be. Kind of low. Look at him. You can watch this, you can watch the players. They're going to be put on the trade table. Player transfers, none at the moment because I haven't started the season. Trade offers, you can throw trades at people. Not open yet, obviously. And then you get to go, you get to wait for the drafts to happen. So you get the mid-season rookie draft, the national draft, and then rookie draft. All right, people, we are going to do the Friday night game that we have. The Colton Footy Club and the Brisbane Lions at Marvel Stadium for the Mitch Robinson medal. Let's get stuck into it. Colton are currently rated 88 overall, the Brisbane Lions 89. We'll be using that away kit and Big Crips will be using that obviously. Match settings, this will be played at Marvel Stadium, but look at all the stadiums you got there, it's sick. You can go to all the stadiums if you want. It's got country footy as well, and as I showed you before, you can play your custom settings, you can make your own. Let's go hard, start time. It's gonna be a nighttime game. AFL rules, injuries enabled, ball color. Red? Yeah, red I guess. Or was it yellow at nighttime? Yeah, yellow, we got yellow. You can also manage your club too, which is really cool. Now, I'm still trying to get all the buttons down pat, so don't judge me. Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Welcome to Friday Night Look Football. Look how clear that is. We're Monster. about to find out what's changed since last we saw them play. Hear the crowd and roar here come the as Lions kick the winning score. Just keep giving me the ball, boys. I'm killing it. These calves are just going to keep me going and going and going. Oh, we got Big Harris on Mackay. Yeah, we got Danaher on Weedering. Come on, Big O. He's picking up this. Footy is go. I'm going to tap it to the left to Jared Berry. McAnooney wins the first ruck contest. Oh, that's a Berry good start. rolling the sleeves up. Lee Gunston. Sees an opportunity and plays on. Chucky, Chucky. at home. Yeah. Cameron uses the body well. He doesn't miss many, so you wouldn't think this would pose any problems. No wind. This is pretty, pretty standard. He's a quality finisher, and that's more evidence. Marks inside 50 and work their way in goal when you go back and convert the goal. Don't even move, umpire. Don't even move. The Lions with a fast start. It's got a couple of things you've got to work with. Fangs and skinny, time. mate. He's got Gary's the fresh What's caught your eye, guess? The, the Lions that? deserve the look. He's plucked it and should have a shot. Cameron in some space now. He's backing himself oh, in. Can he get this shot in the right way? They're just not giving the ball back, which makes it hard for any team. The Blues have got the oh, half-time half siren sounds, see what got for the half -time. and the players will retreat to the rooms with lots to contemplate. What's happening down there, Gary? The Lions have been better in most areas and deserve their lead, but this is far from settled. The boys are They're well aware how dangerous their opponents can be, so Getting they'll the have meetings, reinforced sure we're during the break how important it is there, the to boys. make... We've got Joey Danaby here, left footer, so it's going to be pretty tough. Put a bit of height on this one. Come on, Joey. Socks down, Jojo. This is travelling close to the behind post. The fuck was that disappointing kid? effort. Coleman mops that one up. Come this on, Kitty. This is promising. Showing some dare. Run, Kitty. Get out of my space. Takes it out wide. They're playing with purpose and poise. Oh! A big oh, victory today. They were much too good and played an attractive brand of footy. Here we go. We got our first that win. I don't think the score is going to be close. this realistic. Thanks for being with us. We'll catch you. But let's go down soon. to the change rooms and let's hear the Brisbane Lions song. Sing aloud, everybody, for you are Lions supporter. They've actually got audio from our games. That's from our game! That was me! Ow! 
All right, everybody, that concludes this first video. Hopefully you got a lot of the gameplay and going through the menu and showing you what's available. Yes, we are missing Pro Team, which I know is going to be the best part of it, but that comes when the Xbox game is released for everybody so we can all get on board and have some fun. But pros and cons. With the cons at the moment, I think you can just run around with the ball a bit too easily. You can go from one end of the ground to the other if you really want to take everybody on and just handball to yourself. Um, the handball is a little bit hard to aim at your own players. You seem to just randomly handball backwards, sideways, and other stuff, but I'm probably missing something there with the analog I'm not using right I don't know um, the AIs the opposition are a little bit too much like caravans are all one on one all over the ground you can easily exploit that that's probably one of the only things that I don't know what level you can put on but I reckon I can just hit everybody around the ground pretty easy which is a little bit unrealistic but I think that uh, they are working on trying to get some um, the coaches down that are going to do some team structures and all that kind of stuff which is really really cool and they're, they're trying to go to the next level you can tell with Big Ant they're trying they're trying they're trying the pros hitting up the targets with the inside 45 kicks your long kicks the, the amount of the shots you can have on goal dribbles you can do snaps bananas really cool like looking ones as well from the boundary or from anywhere inside out barrels all that type of stuff it's really fun to play and i was doing a little bit of that just before um and i was enjoying that part of the game obviously the graphics are way better in terms of like just a cinematic feel when they go in the change rooms at half time or the the face scans are so so good and i'm actually really rating that that's i know the effort that goes in behind the scenes to do that and those guys put in a shivers load of work to do it so Good on you for that big ant. All in all, I'm, I'm all in all, I think this game is a lot better than AFL Evo 2, and I know they're working behind the scenes to make sure that we get a really good game out of AFL 23. Um, I'm gonna create my own player at one stage and have some fun with that. You can you can choose from crazy hairstyles, you can add tattoos and everything, which is awesome. So my rating would probably be around seven and a half, eight out of ten. Um, compared to the AFL Evo 2 and all the other older games, it absolutely craps on that. So really good job. I can't wait to start playing with everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm giving away, I'm giving away two PS5 codes. All you gotta do is drop a comment on this video and let me know who your favorite player is or just the best comment wins really. I'm giving away two games, to saving you 80 bucks. Shout out to Big Ant for allowing me to do that. Love the game, can't wait to start streaming for everybody. Hopefully if you're still here, make sure you like and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys, let's go.